I am Zarina Sidesheva, lecturer of IT and digital resources in teaching foreign languages. Welcome to the fifth lecture, completion of tasks in a foreign language and using online dictionary and online translations. We will discuss the following questions in today's lecture. The best online tools for translating text or pages. Deeple translated the best online text translation tool. The most widely used translation tool is Google Translate, Microsoft Translator, Wordlinga, Multitron, Prompt Translator. Keywords Dictionary, a book, optical disk, mobile device or online lexical resource such as dictionary.com containing a selection of the words of a language giving information about their meanings, pronunciations, etymologies, inflected forms, derived forms and etc. expressed in either the same or another language, lexicon, glossary. Print dictionaries of, the, of various sizes, ranging from small pocket dictionaries to multi-volume books, usually sort entries alphabetically as to typical CD or DVD dictionary applications, allowing one to browse through the terms in sequence. Translator – someone who changes the words of one language into the words in another language that have the same meaning. Machine translator – Automatic translation as by computer from one natural language to another. Translation is a mental activity in which a meaning of given linguistic discourse is rendered from one language to another. It is the act of transferring the linguistic entities from one language into their equivalent into another language. Translation is an act through which the content of the text is transferred from source language into the target language. The language to be translated is called the source language, CL, whereas the language to be translated into or arrived at is called the target language, TL. The translator needs to have good knowledge of both the source and the target language in addition to a high linguistic sensitivity as he should transmit the writer's intention, original thoughts and opinions in the translated version as preciously and faithfully as possible. Deepal translated the best online text translation tool. Deepal Translator is a free neural machine translation service launched on 28th August 217 and developed by Deeple GmbH Lingui based in Cologne, Germany. It has received positive press asserting that it is more accurate and nuanced than Google Translate. Deeple currently offers translations between the following 11 languages and 110 language pairs. Chinese, Simplified, Dutch, English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Polish, Portuguese, Brazilian, Russian, and Spanish. Additionally, approximations of language equivalence are proposed among all of those languages using a two-step process via an English pilot. There are no advertisements on Deeple. The company wants to earn money by licensing a translation application programming interface. So here is the screenshot of deepletranslator.com page. Uh, at the top of the page you can see the link deepl.com.rootranslator. Uh, also you can see that we can translate it from, uh, you can choose the language, for example, you can choose it to translate from English to Russian. Also you can register in this system and download to your computer. Now we will speak about the most used translation tool is Google Translate. Google Translate is a free multilingual neural machine translation service 
developed by Google to translate text and websites from one language into another. It offers a website interface, a mobile app for Android and iOS, and an application programming interface that helps developers build browser extensions and software applications. As of September 2020, Google Translate supports 109 languages at various levels and as of April 2016 claimed over 500 million total users with more than 100 billion words translated daily. If early, this multilingual translation tool offered very low quality translations, it has recently become a reliable translation site and the most used site in the world. Enter a text selection once on the platform and the translation tool will automatically detect the language. You can translate a web page by specifying the URL of the site. So on this slide you can see the screenshot of Google Translate page. Uh, also, you can type the app one abstract or just one sentence to translate it from Kazakh into Russian or from English to Russian. Also, you can register in this system or download the whole file or document. Now we will speak about another translation tool, Microsoft Translator. Microsoft Translator is a multilingual machine translation cloud service provided by Microsoft. Microsoft Translator is provided by Bill Gates. Microsoft Translator also offers text and speech translation through cloud services for businesses. Speech translation via Microsoft Speech Services is offered based on time of the audio stream. The service supports 73 language systems as of May 2020. It also supports 11 speech translation systems that currently power the Microsoft Translator Live Conversation feature, Skype Translator and Skype for Windows Desktop and the Microsoft Translator apps for iOS and Android. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to share with you my favorite apps and websites for translating texts. So these will be useful for you if you need to translate anything for your job, for assignments at university or write general essays or term papers in a foreign language. Most of these are available for many different languages However, one or two might be specific to my case, but there will almost definitely be an equivalent for your language. I usually use a combination of all the different websites for my translations, and I will also tell you in which case to use which one. Also, I will put all the links for the websites in the description box so you can easily find them. So I like to use the website leo.org, which is also available as an app. It provides translations from German to English and the other way around. What I like about it is that it offers you many different translations and it also tells you in which context that translation is relevant. So you can choose which translation is the most suitable for your purpose. If you don't want to translate from or into German, I can also recommend the website Deeple. I haven't used it myself, but my boyfriend recommends it and it also provides many different translations and puts it into context. Whenever I translate something and it gives me a word or a phrase that I haven't at least heard before, I always use a second translator to make sure it's correct. For this, I also like to use Google Translate, which is something that almost everyone will have used before. It's easy to use and it also gives you several different translations and is available for almost every language. I do recommend though to handle translations of full sentences or phrases with care because sometimes they end up not making sense but it is very useful to be able to translate a full sentence or a phrase because that's something that leo.org doesn't do there you can only translate single words. Now when I want to translate 
something like colloquialisms or just sentences and phrases, I like to use the website Lingui, which also belongs to Deepo and also offers a variety of different languages. In contrast to other translators, Lingui works through a combination of the dictionary and a search engine that allows you to access bilingual sentence pairs in a database. As always, you should keep in mind that if something seems a bit off about a translation, it's always best to double check with a different translator. Now, that was it for the translating websites. However, I still have two more websites that I find quite useful in the context of translations, specifically for finding synonyms. So I use a thesaurus for each language that I'm translating. For English, I use the website thesaurus.com and for German, I use the website Voxicon. Obviously, if you're translating for different languages, you'll have to find a different website, but I'm sure you'll be able to find one. My technique is basically that when I find a translation that I'm not quite satisfied with, I use a thesaurus to find synonyms and if I still don't find a word that I like then I translate one of the words into the other language, search for synonyms in the other language and then I translate it back. And this way you have the best opportunity to find a perfect translation for your purpose. I hope you found these tips useful and that you'll be able to apply them next time you're doing a translation. Feel free to share your favorite translating websites or apps in the comments, especially if you have an alternative for a language that is not German or English, so that other people can find good websites for the languages that they need as well. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Wordlingo is a leading innovator and provider of translation and vocalization services and technology. Wordlingo continues to advance internet translation with new technologies and features designed to provide a seamless experience for consumers. Headquartered in Nevada, Wordlingo has a rich history of innovation and today performs thousands of translations every day for business, governments and organizations around the globe. Wordlingo has a clear design and automatically detects the source language. The site also has good translation quality. It can translate any documents, web pages and emails. This translation tool is very simple, includes several features and support multiple files. But in its free version, you can only translate 500 words to the maximum. So this is the screenshot of the page uh, wordlingo.com. You can also have a register and have your own account and translate any text or document from English to Russian or any other languages. But in free version you can translate only 500 words. The next translation tool is Prompt Translator. Prompt, the project of machine translation, is a Russian company focused upon the development of machine translation systems. At the moment, Prompt translators exist for more than 25 languages. Prompt is headquartered in St. Petersburg, Russia, and also has offices in Moscow, Russia, San Francisco, the US, and Hamburg, Germany. Except the system of machine translation, Prompt also delivers its own solutions on the basis of translation memory technology. This translator was originally designed for professionals, businesses and individual users. Prompt translator creates text, web pages, PDF files and etc. A multilingual translation tool for Windows that can be translated. It is compatible with Word, Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint or front page. It is convenient to change the translation settings to suit your needs.
here in, on this slide you can see the link online translator.com and you can see on the screen that we can choose the text language for example Russian and translate it to English language also you can have here your own account Multitron. Multitron is an editable Russian multilingual online dictionary launched on 1st April 2001. The English Russian English dictionary contains over 4 million entries, while the total database has about 8 million entries. The dictionary has a function for reporting translation errors for registered users. Registered users. Features. Multitron's database contains over 10 million terms. Every registered user is technically allowed to expand the dictionaries online. Alphabetical morphological word combination search. Simultaneous search in the dictionaries, forms and in the database of English and Russian parallel sentences. Every user of Multitron can ask a question concerning translation on the Multitron forum. Here is the page of multitron.com. This is an online dictionary. You can choose and uh, you can choose the language, translate it from Russian or translate from English and search in different forms. Before we get started, I should probably mention this video necessarily isn't structured in the way I wanted it to. I wanted to kind of show the process on how I was translating things. I had it set up. It was good. But then I tried to edit it. And I could never get past the first 10 minutes of editing without my video editing software crashing. So I'm trying it out with iMovie now. And because I can't necessarily do the things I want to do with it, what I'm going to do is just show the results. And then give a little tally up at the end. And we'll call it a day. So sorry this video isn't as interesting as I would have liked. Now let's get started.
Let's sum up. Translation is the process of conveying ideas expressed in one language as a form of language activity by means of another language in accordance with it or in full value. Confirmity and full value translation along with accurate and complete delivery of the features and content of the original is complemented by the perfect combination of the language of translation, including all its structural features, style, vocabulary and grammar. Delivery of any text or spoken word by other language means. A text or spoken word translated from one language to another. The result of the translator's work is the text. The process of conveying thoughts, feelings, emotions expressed in one language by other language means. These are the list of questions after the lecture. List the ways to use Depo Translator, features of Prompt Translator Online Translator, translate the text using the online translator provided, and the last question to make up the test of 10 questions on the topic with 5 variants. Here you can see the list of references that you can use uh, during our lectures and practical lessons. Thank you for your attention.